And the developer Zeth has announced their Kickstarter campaign for action RPG Bound by Blades, and its goal is to raise 30,000 USD. The game will bring players to the land of Ashmere, which they have been overrun by a bloodthirsty beast, and you must protect yourself from the ferocious enemies, so you must scavenge materials, forge equipment, and make yourself stronger. Choose from the 3 unique characters available, and you can either play or with a friend in co-op. Bound by Blades is arriving by 2022. Revolution first year anniversary and Aurora Studio is celebrating its month long. The celebration has already started and will also run up until October the 17th and there will be different events available for players to join. They will be able to unlock some anniversary edition characters, a limited edition DLC, and some different game modes. The first week will also have players complete a series of quests to earn special rewards. Limited time modes are available throughout. A new update is now available for Elite Dangerous and it is a new starter experience. This is a fully voiced introduction wherein which new players are taught to the basic flight, navigation, combat, and so much more. For players who are more experienced, they will get new livery system as well as ARX virtual currency. For the new starter experience, new commanders will also learn the basic flight's control, super cruise in navigation hyperspace jumps, docking at a star post, and so much more. Guild Wars 2, the Ice Brood Saga Prologue chapter out now, called Bound by Blood. This comes with a new story that lets players explore the culture and tradition of the Norn and Char races. The new map is also available called Groth Mar Valley and is a homeland of Char race. The prologue will also give you the strike missions where an epic new Templar activity will happen, and there are also new map wide meta events and one of which is the interactive musical performance of Metal Illusion. Some the demo also guys of the Legend of the Heroes the Trails of Cold Steel you theory is out now on the PlayStation Network. Players are also able to experience the whole prologue chapter and they're even able to keep the progress and carry it to the full game when it launches. Legend of Heroes the Trails of Cold Steel 3 will also be launching on October 22nd, 2019 for the United States and Europe. The Australia New Zealand, the game will also be launching on October 29th. PlayStation Plus users can have 25% off discount for pre-ordering. us here is our ultimate battle we've all trained for over two years each of us honing our skills the embers of war are about to ignite Go! 
Heart system works will be launching Dragon Ball Fighter Z's in Max and Jealousy soon. And according to a report in the latest issue of the Jump, the DLC will bring Gogeta fusion of Goku and Vegeta to the game, and he is known for his special attack, Stardust the Breaker and Ultimate Kamehameha. Bandai Namco is expected to reveal more details about the DLC soon, and Gogeta will be the fifth DLC character to join the Dragon Ball Fighter Z as a part of the Dragon Ball Fighter Z passage. Fortnite data miners have discovered that the latest update released for the game includes the files related to Batman. The files discovered includes Batman themed skins as well as the two Batman weapons and the explosives Batarang and Batman Grapnel gun. Data miners also discovered that the titled uh, town will be also transformed to Gotham City and players will be completing a number of challenges which will also involve lighting of the bat signal and villain a joker epic games is expected to reveal more about this soon Dude, how do these kids have so many masks? No Man's Sky has released a new update which also kicks off a community event for players and also brings some fixes and enhancements. The community event will also help players to complete missions at the space and not to uh, not miss Nexus and contribute to cause a reality target. Special items will also be unlocked as players hit milestone and Hello Games said the community event doesn't have a deadline. The update is also free for all players. The open beta for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint will be coming this September 26th until the 29th for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. The schedule between the platforms are staggered, and you can also go to their official site for the schedule in case the open beta will also give players the very first look at the Ghost War PvP, which will have the elimination mode available for the test. There will be like 4 maps available for this, the PVE mode will also open to new regions and there are five missions in total. I will burn your world to the ground. I'm a ghost too. I would expect nothing less. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is getting its cooperation update which had been announced by developer DICE and publisher EA. This update will also be adding a new planet to the game which is called Felucia and Felucia has five posts which are the command post village, command post Sarlacc and command post farm, command post caves and command post swamp. The planet may look captivating, but it's actually hostile. The cooperation update with the planet Felucia is coming to PC, PS4, Xbox One on September 25th.
friends, guys, so Planet Zoo Beta is almost here. The beta is set to start on September 24th and will last off until October 8th. Access are for those who were able to purchase the deluxe edition of the game, and the beta doesn't really have much content. It will come with a career mode, which has a temperate biome with tutorials in franchise mode, which is a savannah biome, and also with some buildings, rides, staff members, and more. Any progress in the beta will not be carried over to the full game once it launches. Our feature deals are here. Let's start off with our free game, which lets the players live or leave the life of Quill Jensen and the troubled city of Andreas, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And the next for our prize drops games, which are the unique sandbox strategy game, Craft of the World, and the game based on a polished novel, uh, novel equilibrium, Devil's Hunt. Lastly, the game with the best discount is the fighting game Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Get to know more at our daily deals in our daily deals page here at allfishop.com. IO Interactive is getting set to release the final DLC pack for Hitman 2. This next expansion will take you to a tropical getaway called Howling Island as of the 24th of this month. Expansion pass owners will once more be called the channel their annual assassin as they assume the role of 47 who must tell Telly eliminate a couple of unsuspecting targets. The developer is very uh, reluctant to reveal much of the story details. However, we do know the new level will be playable in contracts mood when it launches in next yeah. week hey you both we'll make you a new you Infinity Ward has announced that the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta Preloading is currently live for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. The developer is inviting you to go right ahead and load up the version specific to your console or PC, then begin testing. However, to you must bear in mind the only PC and Xbox One players who have pre-ordered or can preload or play during the first stage of this weekend's test. Call of Duty Modern Warfare releases in October 25, 2019. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is poised to receive a brand new update. According to the patch of 4.3 notes, PUBG is getting a new progression system called Survival Mastery, as well as a new weapon and a few balance changes. The Survival Mastery system will provide you with an alternate way to earn rewards in progress from game to game. The new weapon to be added is a double barrel, pump action shotgun that players can only get from care packages. The other shotguns are getting a slight rage and damage that
Developer Bimduk has released two videos spanning 18 minutes accumulatively of Baldur's Gate in Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition gameplay footage. The PS4 did justice in executing the commands and representing the remastered graphics of a vintage role-playing game. Another video brandishing, uh, brandishing over 10 minutes of landscape, Torment in the Ars Windows Enhanced Edition gameplay was also released. October 15 is a date at which you will be able to acquire all this. Update of 5.2 for Anno 1800 has been released in the patch notes make for a rather interesting read. The patch notes detail over 1.7 GB of the content in the form of fixes of reported issues and adjustments. According to the notes, ships are now recover, uh, recoverable and they will no longer get duplicated after a save game reload. Also, ships will no longer get stuck at the border of the map. In any case, you can download this patch via Uplay, Steam, and the at the game store. Kutaro Ishikoshi and his pike Shinzo collaboratively released this brand story-driven adventure game, A.L. The Somnion of Files. In written fashion, the announcement was accompanied by a short trailer girl towards further introducing players to what they can expect should they consider trying it. The game has received very positive reviews in Steam thus far, but you can grab your personal copy for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and PC to see for yourself. inside the subject's dream. We're going to catch them soon, aren't we? I harbor no grudges against you. Yeah! Unprecedented freedom of choice. Disco Elysium is scheduled to be released in the 50 of next month on Steam at GOG.com. The developers describe Disco Elysium as a groundbreaking open world role playing game in which you are a detective that possesses a unique set of skills that you apply as you traverse the scenes of a whole, uh, whole city block. You must interrogate a number of eccentric characters in an effort to extract information with which you will uncover shrouded the threats and become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. The role-playing adventure of a lifetime. Disco Elysium. Voting Battle Royale Mail Storm is officially free to play and available on Steam. Previously, Gunpower Games Labor of Law had a price tag attached and still generated a sizable, dedicated player base. Now that the cost has been removed, the game now stands to gain the amount of funds for whom the prize was a de uh, deterrent plus those who will be magnetized by an even a larger player base. Now you can try this unique fun filled voting experience once you have completed a simple download.
Nightmare 1998 has been officially released for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. The developer's reputation is one of the major selling points for the title as it is responsible for the wildly celebrated Resident Evil 2. Innovator Studios has demonstrated its capacity to create horror survival games, which significantly reduces the potency of any potential preservation. This third-person survival horror game is currently available at a 10% discount on Steam. Bungie recently published a tweet via Destiny 2's official Twitter account announcing that Destiny 2 Forsaken now includes the Forsaken Annual Pass. What this means is uh, that there are three seasonal DLC updates that are now entirely free for everyone who owns the expansion. According to the developer, in order to play Destiny 2 Forsaken, players need the base game as well as the previous expansions and this uh, current option provides that to new players. Every titan, every warlock, every hunter. If he thinks what he's done is the end, it's not. It's the beginning. You gotta promise me, put Aldrin in the ground. Destiny 2 Forsaken, available September 4th. As a dragon shrine maiden, I will do my best. Kuwa Tecmo has released a new DLC trailer for Dead or Alive 6. The trailer uh, really, uh, reveals Ryu Hayabusa's disciple Mumiji as the next character that will be making her way to the fighting game. Mumiji will be receiving her fair share of costumes like all other characters in the game, and each other character will also getting new ninja outfits. The trailer shook high some of her moves as well as some of the costumes that will be available for the character. Dead or Alive 6 is currently available for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Our feature deals are here, let us start off with our free game which lets players alive the life of Carl Jensen in the troubled city of San Andreas, Grande Fada, San Andreas. Next are our first drops with games which are unique sandbox strategy game, craft the world in the game based in a polished novel, Equilibrium Devil's Hunt. Lastly, the game with the best discount is the fighting game Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Get to know more of our deals in our daily deals page here at okshop.com. 